What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change some of the default apps on your iPhone. Now, you can't do it with a lot of apps, but hopefully this will uh, increase over time. And if it does, what I'm going to show you is the exact way you'll do this for other apps as well. So just follow along. It's very simple. So the first thing that you want to do is open up your settings. Once you're in settings, you want to go all the way down until you see all of your apps. Now, again, this does not work with a lot of different types of apps. It works with your browser, your mail app, and that's pretty much it. Again, this might increase over time. So if it does, this is exactly what you'll do. So if we want to change our mail app from the default mail app to something else like Gmail or Yahoo Mail or even some other mail app, we can. But remember, you have to have one of those other apps already installed from the app store. So if you don't go into the app store and download that said app that you want to be your default mail app. So I have Gmail installed. So what I'm going to do is going to open up Gmail and then I'm going to see default mail setup. I tap on that and then all I can just, I can just tap on Gmail and it'll be a little checkbox next to it. And that's when I know that it'll be my default app. So if I click on a link, that's an email or you know anything like that, it'll automatically open up that email app that, that I've chosen as my default app. You can choose Yahoo Mail, regular mail app. And if you had other mail apps, you could do that as well to make it your default mail app in case you don't want to use the default Apple mail app. Next would be what if I want to change my default browser app? So I'm going to find the browser that I want to change it to. For instance, I'll use Chrome, I'm going to tap Chrome, tap default browser app, and then I can tap Chrome and then it becomes my default browser app. So again, if I click on a link or something and it opens up in a website, it'll use Chrome or whatever other browser app I'm using, Firefox or some other one as well. It'll do that for me. So it's very, very helpful uh, in case you're not a big fan of some of the Apple apps or you know something like that, you can easily change it. So there you guys go. That is how to change some of your default apps. If it's one of these apps or they add more features, like maybe you're able to change your navigation app, your maps app one day in the future, you would just go into Google Maps or Waze or whatever app you have installed. That's an alternative to the Maps app and you'd be able to change it the same way I changed these other apps. Thanks for watching. See you guys down the road.